Aren't you ready? For where? Greece first. Then Italy. We're finally checked in. Why we are? We're going to Seattle right now. Well, then we're Paris. Right now. <laughs> Probably like two hours. We're really early. We made it to our gate. We're at gate 88. We're all ready, checked in. Lauren's busy doing a million emails. No, I'm not. She's a working girl. Can't, can't share that information. We're gonna have to bleep all that. Why? So we're just gonna wait here for our flight to board. Zach here, just hanging out in the editing bay. And I thought I'd just address you directly as you're watching this. And you're thinking, what exactly am I watching? Well, me and my wife and our two friends took a three week trip to Greece and Italy. And I wanted to share it with you. So thank you so much for coming along in this ride. But I thought it'd be helpful to just introduce myself a little bit and our friends and my wife, just so you know a little bit about us as you continue on with us through this journey. So here they are. Choose your And we had to run to our gate in Paris, but our Paris flight was delayed, so we didn't have to run, but we finally made it. And Paris airport, pretty stuffy and full. Bonjour. Here in Athens. Finally made it. I'm so tired. We made it to Athens. We've been up for a full over 24 hours. I am tired. Yeah, he is especially tired. He like was crunched like a little potato on the plane. Guys, we made it. Athens, our first night. We're here, and uh, let me show you around. This. We got a table, kitchen, bathroom, cute wife, and our bedroom, and all of our clothes. We already made a mess. Oh. I already took a shower. Had to, but now I'm feeling fresh to death, ready to do this thing. We're gonna go eat some. Food. We're gonna go find some SIM cards. We're gonna go uh, have some dranky drinks and we're gonna tear this country up. Let's go. Just had an amazing dinner, rooftop. Now it's the nightlife in Athens. 
try and live it up. Now we're gonna see what else the night has. Let's check it out. Got a little bit of a slower start today. You gotta get the rest, rest in, now we're adjusted. Now we're just in downtown Athens, gonna get some coffee, some breakfast, and see some sights today. Breakfast was so good. Amazing bacon penny, great coffee, and I got a cappuccino to go. Yum yum. Yum 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 yum. Let's go. This cappuccino is stupid good. And now we're gonna walk to the market and see what's going on. See, this is the first day of our trip. What would you say to your last day of your trip, Jesse? Hopefully, you're not looking forward to going home. Because right now, you don't want to be home. It's not, it's warm here, you're on vacation here, you don't have to drive, you don't have to work, it's great. So, Lauren, what would you say to your last vacation day? Oh, yeah. Oh, are you having fun? Yeah. We just walked into the Agora. This is one of the main sites in Athens. And we got Rick Steves audio tour, which is a tip for you. Download the app if you're ever traveling. And then Rick Steves for free guides you around. And it's super cool. The Agora was the heart of ancient Athens. While the Acropolis was the ceremonial showpiece, it was at the Agora that people came to shop, businessmen struck deals, laws were passed, and theaters hummed with nightlife. It was a lively place where the pace never let up, much like modern Athens. Hi, I'm Rick Steves. Thanks for joining me on this walk through the ancient Agora. To help you along, I've invited my colleague, Lisa. Welcome, Lisa. Hi, or should I say, Yasas? This temple of Hermestus, which is like a god, and this god fought these centaurs, but then they were having like a wedding, and then these centaurs came, a ton of them, and they wanted to take the women away because they were born. What I learned. So then Hermesis fought them all. And then they have little Check out the view. Thank you. We found a restaurant to eat at. It's called Vendiria. Vendiria. We got a bunch of Vendiria. appies too that we're gonna share. I feel like we got a lot of food. I'm excited. It was at this moment that she knew she f up. <laughs> I think we need to start. Yeah, full stuff. Stuffed. And then they brought us complimentary ice cream. Brownie. Brownie in it too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it. Honestly, our our game plan was to get a bunch of athletes so that we could like share it and it wouldn't be as like filling. And then we got like seven appies. <laughs> and now we're all just stuffed. Why do we get seven? If you're in Athens, you have to come here. It was, we got free Sundays. The food was amazing. The service was great, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. It was so good, I'm so full. I'm so happy right now. Beautiful. How are you? I'm so happy.
for you. We should take you home. Hi, ah! baby. And some treaties. <gasps> You're so hot. You have food, though. I don't Hi, baby. Ah! Oh. We finished our late lunch, and now we're gonna go to the main event, the Cropless. And so we're gonna make ourselves there in the heat. It's super warm right now, but when in Greece, do as the Greeks do. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. And hey, beautiful. How beautiful. And on the way to the Acropolis, and uh, we stopped on Mars Hill, and this is pretty cool. Mars Hill is one of the sites that is written about in the Book of Acts where Paul preached, and uh, it's been a pretty, it's a pretty cool spot. You can see like all of Athens around here. We are in the Acropolis. Camera died, so using the phone. But let me show you around. It is like 35 degrees, and I'm a little tired, but let's do this. guys think of this place? I thought it was cool. I thought it was really cool, but I definitely again would recommend Rick Steves because the audio guide because if you didn't have a guide, there's just no contact. And I feel like Ricky gave us a really good uh, really good idea of what it all means and the story behind it. But I also really like that we did the Agora first because that also kind of prayed all the way through the Agora to Athena. What did you think? It was great. Perfect. <laughs> Guys, I need more short answers like that, okay? Nice. I'm back in the room and I just took a shower. It's the nicest shower ever. My feet hurt. We're getting ready. We're gonna hang out for a bit and then go out for dinner. But the Greeks eat late. So we're gonna go at like nine o'clock or something like that. So now we're just chilling like villains. I'm a villain. We are looking ready to go for dinner, but we've been waiting for how long? 25 minutes? 20, 25, 40 minutes. Because... Phone. Phone. Oh my god! Okay. Yabber, yabber. But, that's okay. We'll wait. We just wait. And now we wait. That's what we're supposed to do. One eternity later. We finally made it out and we're going to dinner. So we got a recommendation from our Airbnb. Yeah. And it's this place and we don't know what it's called. We're going with Jesse and Lisa and we left them upstairs. So we're just gonna figure it out. Maybe they'll meet us there. Let's go. Hi beautiful.
have to make one last stop for gelato. First gelato of the trip. Roasted hazelnut.